The Kirkwood Theater Guilds has scored a notable success with its current production of Ken Ludwig's recent comedy, The Game's Afoot. Devotees of Sherlock Holmes will immediately recognize the play's title as a catchphrase spoken by their idol. The comedy from 2011 is not, however, about the master detective. The main character is William Gillette, the American actor who wrote a play about Sherlock Holmes in 1899 and made a fortune starring as Holmes for decades. Ludwig's play begins with the ending of Gillette's on a December night in 1936. A gunshot from the audience wounds Gillette during the curtain call. The next scene takes place in the recuperating Gillette's palatial home on the Connecticut River. He has asked the cast of his play to celebrate Christmas Eve at the mansion, but this gathering has an ulterior motive. Gillette has a plan to solve the mystery of his shooting. To this end, he has invited an additional guest, the theater critic Daria Chase. Her reviews have rankled some of the other guests, but Daria has a special skill Gillette needs to carry out his plan. No crimes have been solved by intermission, but another one has been committed. What ensues is as much a murder farce as a murder mystery. As we know from Lend Me a Tenor, Ludwig is very good at farce. So is the Kirkwood production, which has a strong cast. Jeff Cargus fills Gillette with the self-importance of a man whose mind has blurred the distinction between himself and the role that defined his career. Jackie Goodall skirts the line between balanced and bonkers as Gillette's mother, whose devotion to her son impels her along a dangerous course. Tim Callahan as Felix Geisel and Heather Sarton as Madge Geisel mine the comic possibilities of a long-married theatrical couple with plenty of built-up resentments. Hannah Lindsay as Aggie Wheeler and Robert Michael Hansen as Simon Bright play a recently married theatrical couple. Their love blossomed when he was comforting her after the death of her previous very wealthy husband. Lindsay and Wheeler raise just the right amount of suspicion about their characters. Annalise Webb has great fun with the caustic wit of Daria, the critic. Laura Cairo captures both the serious and humorous elements in Inspector Goring, the detective in the second act. The production benefits from admirable technical work in Kevin Hester's direction, Robert Michael Hansen's set, Judy Lowe's set decoration, Deanna Garcia's props, Cheryl Bowman Tebow's costumes, J.T. Taylor's lighting, J.D. Waite's sound, and Bob Tebow's fight choreography. You missed this one, Bob, but I expect you'll have another chance to see the games afoot in the future. I hope so, and I, maybe it'll inspire some people to do some of the plays that Gillette wrote himself. Oh, that would be fun, too. Yeah. I hope you like the reviews on Two on the Isle. You can click here to see other reviews and to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to be reminded immediately after we post. Enjoy the reviews.